Hey guys, it's me Liz and welcome back to my makeup channel. Uh, so basically, uh, this look here, if you haven't guessed it, is my St. Patrick's Day makeup look. Might be a little late um, by the time this video comes up for you guys, so I'm really sorry for that. Um, but anyways, um, I just wanted to do a recreation of my St. Patrick's Day look that I done last year. Um, and I just wanted to show you this year's one. So I basically just recreated last year's one, zhuzhed it up a little bit, glammed it up a little, changed a few things, and this is what I have created for you guys. So if you guys want to see how you guys can get this look, um, it is relatively easy. You can also change things around to suit you. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see how you can get this look, just keep on watching. So to begin, uh, you want to start with a freshly moisturized uh, and primed face. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna dot this foundation all over my face. I'm using the Body Shop Moisture Foundation in the shade 05 and with the Damp Beauty Blender I'm going to beat that all over my face and blend it in completely. So this is just one pump, um, really does go out, um, really does spread out really well. Um, so now I'm going to move on to my brows. I'm using these two products, these two pencils here. One is from Chi Chi. It is a white eyeliner pencil and the green one I am using is a glimmer stick liner from Avon. As you can see, I've already done one brow and I'm going pretty strong with the brows on this look. Um, I've already used the white liner to kind of conceal my brows, I would say. Um, I just went over the white because my brows are quite dark. Um, I just wanted to lighten that up so they wouldn't show through the green. If you've got kind of, if your brow hair is very fair, anywho, um, you can skip that step and go straight on to this part right here. Um, so basically, I'm sketching out the shape that I want. Um, basically, just trying to match um, this brow to my brow that I've already done. Um, and I'm just copying that as good as I can, and then I'm just going to fill that bad boy in. Um, and also once you get to the inner part of the brow, you want to use a lighter hand um, because you don't want it to obviously look too heavy or too sharp in that area. So I'm quite happy with that, um, but I am going to fix up the arch of the brow because I feel it's a little tiny bit too rounded compared to the other brow. So I'm just going to give it a bit more of a sharper corner and just kind of exaggerate it a teeny tiny bit. Now I'm going to go in here. Go ahead and um, carve that brow out using this concealer from the BH Cosmetics Correct and Conceal Palette. Um, so I carved that eyebrow out a little. Now I'm grabbing an anvil brush and I'm using these two dark green eyeshadows uh, from the Take Me To Brazil Palette. I'm just going to pat that all over and kind of help fill that in in any sprouts areas just to make sure that my brow looks kind of fierce, you know. Um, now I'm just using a spoolie as well to kind of softly, softly brush the brow hairs up and out a little. Now going back onto the brow carving, I'm just grabbing the same concealer and I'm just carving that brow out um, a little more just so I get super straight lines. Um, just because I thought I would use that same concealer and pack, pack it on over my eyelids like a... <laughs> like a um, eyeshadow base and using my finger to warm up the product I'm just warming it up blending it out with my finger and also just taking it you know blending it out even past the eye I'm also going to grab a brush and I'm going to add that to places like so now taking my beauty blender I'm going to help work the product in um, I feel that fingers work better with this product just because it's warming up the product and blending it in a little better um, so I thought I'll go back in with the foundation that I used in the first step I'm going to pat this around the kind of seams of the concealer if that makes any sense I'm really just going with this but I just wanted to give the face a better a nicer smoother kind of canvas for the rest of the makeup so I blended the foundation around the concealer I still wanted to keep the lightness of that concealer to the mid section of my face like the forehead, the nose and the eyes and, and under eyes so I left that as is. I'm um, using this gold eyeshadow from the uh, Take Me To Brazil palette and I, as you saw I just packed that bad boy into my above my crease area and blended that up and out. I'm also taking the white shade from the same palette and I'm going to blend that under the eyebrows. I'm packing that on 
under the eyebrows and onto the brow bone and I'm going to blend that out and add a little more gold. Just because my brows are quite strong in this look, the gold is kind of a little lost but I didn't want to go too, too, too heavy. It is possible to go too heavy. <laughs> um, so now I'm taking the two lightest green colors uh, from the Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm going to pack that onto the inner part of my brows just to kind of contrast, give a little more dimension to the whole look in general. So now that's the eyes done for now. I'm moving on to liner. I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner um, and the brush also is the one that it comes with. I love this liner. I think it's my favorite liner uh, when it comes to gel liners. I'm doing the thinnest line as possible and I'm not winging it up too much but I'm winging it more out. Kind of more straight and a tiny bit up if that makes any, any sense. Um, and I'm just using, trying to get the thinnest line that I can but I still want a really nice black opaque look. I'm going to sharpen that edge up. I also did add a, a bit of a point to the inner part of the eye. Now this is where I'm concentrating as best as I can. I'm going to kind of start in the crease area, basically carving out my crease. Trying not to kind of get any liner on the underneath where I'm getting because I want this to be a hollow eyeliner look. Kind of like a, basically an inverted liner look. And I'm just going to carve it out as good as I can. And then when I get the shape that I want, I will neaten it up and sculpt it a little more. So this is what I figured worked better while I was doing this, was using my brush straight at a straight angle, um, like horizontal to my face, um, instead of pointing the brush down like this. If you, wanna, if you want a more thicker line, definitely move your brush a little downward like like this like downward like that just so you get a thicker line and then repeat the same step onto the other eye <laughs> once you get the hang of it so what I'm doing now is I'm just lining the bottom lash line bringing it halfway in and then I'm just going to give myself like two little mini lashes and I'm just going to draw them on kind of flick it out. I'm using little strokes, to, like little flicking strokes to create some little lashes like so. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we can move on to lashes. I'm using these humongous rainbow lashes that I found in the dollar store and I've used these a few times before. Um, you may recognize them from my first YouTube video that I've done. Um, it was a rainbow pixie look and these are basically the same lashes. So I'm going to apply that with um, just using my hands because they are easy to use because they're really big. Um, yeah, just apply them as you would normal lashes. So now I'm grabbing this uh, really loved, really old uh, foundation brush, grabbing two of the, the lightest greenish colors on this 88 palette that I have. And I'm basically going to apply that to my cheekbones, up and around my temples and then bring it up to my forehead just around the top there. Now I'm grabbing a, another eyeshadow brush and I'm basically going to carve out kind of like a heart shaped hairline kind of thing. Kind of like a crown almost. And just fill that in. I'm using a darker shadow from the 88 palette that I'm also using. It's from a brand called Paris Beauty but I'm assuming that most 88 palettes are basically almost the same if not <laughs> made by the same people. I'm also taking that color and going to carve out my nose a little more. Then because my eyebrows, I wasn't happy with the way they were in the inner parts of the brow, I'm just going to take this brush and blend it up. Um, because I don't want it to be so, so super perfect. I just want it to be like a little, tiny bit like effortless in a way. Just a little bit of artistic thinking, you know. So basically I'm going in with a yellow now to kind of work those, that lighter green and darker green together. Um, just blending it, blending it, blending it. And I also went in with a white color, a white shimmery greenish color and I added that to the under eye area. Uh, this lipstick is a lipstick from Jordana. It is almost like an orange lipstick with gold specks. I'm just going in with that on my lips with a lip brush. And just cause this is a leprechaun look, 
I think it would be perfect to add some gold eyeshadow on the top and just press that into the lips and work that all over. Um, this will also mattify my lips a little and yeah, I just really love the idea of this. Work that onto your lips, girl. So now we can move on to these face stickers. You can leave it at that if you want to, but just because I wanted to glam this up a little more, I found these really nice St. Patrick's Day sticker face stickers in the dollar store and I thought this would be perfect for this look and I bought them for $2 in a dollar store local to where I live and I'm sure that you can find them at any type of craft store or dollar store near you um, and you can use this to kind of glam up your look too if you want to and you can place them anywhere over your face and this is where I've chosen to use them and this is basically the finished completed look so that is it guys, that is the finished completed makeup look. I hope that you guys have fun watching this makeup tutorial and I hope that you guys have fun recreating it. Um, if you do, I would love, love, love to see your guys' pictures. So just tag me on Instagram, um, I will have my links down below. You could also post it to me on my Facebook page, um, which I will also have the link down in the description box as well. I would just love so much to see your guys' recreations on this look, um, but yeah, I hope that you you guys have a great St. Patrick's Day. If it's not your thing, I just hope that you guys have fun in general. Uh, maybe you guys might get some good luck. I'm not sure. I hope I get some good luck. I doubt it. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your guys day and take it easy and have fun. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Mwah. Bye. This is just a just basically a tutorial on how I do my foundation and brows. Uh, so this is it. And this is basically the set.